Welcome to our lecture online. Here's another pendulum problem and linear expansion due to a change in temperature. And we start with a pendulum that has a certain initial length at a temperature of 25 degrees centigrade. The wire here is made out of steel that has a coefficient of linear expansion of 1.2 times 10 to minus 5 per centigrade degrees. And the period is exactly two seconds. Now we're going to change the temperature from 25 degrees centigrade to 15 degrees centigrade. And first we're going to try to find the fractional change in the length of that pendulum so that on the next video we can try to see how much that changes the period and how much that changes the time of the clock in, for example, a day. But first we need to find the fractional change in the length. And so the fractional change would be the change in the length divided by the original length, which is equal to L final minus L initial divided by the original length. So we need some sort of equation to calculate the change in the length. We can say that length final is going to be equal to length initial plus the change in the length, which means it's length initial plus length initial times the linear coefficient of heat expansion times the change in the temperature. Or we could say that the final length is going to be equal to L initial times 1 plus alpha times delta T. So let's first find the ratio between those two. And then after we find the ratio, we can find the fractional change in the length. All right, let's plug in what we have here. So we have L final equals L initial times 1 plus alpha, 1.2 times 10 to the minus 5 per centigrade degree. And then we multiply that times the change in temperature, which is negative 10 centigrade degrees. We need to find that. So we have L final equals L initial times. Notice that this is going to make that into a negative quantity. And so we end up with 1 minus 1.2 e to the 4 minus equals. So that's going to be equal to 0.999. Eight, eight. So now we have a relationship between the final length and the original length. Now we also need to have a relationship between the change in the length and the original length. So the change in the length is equal to this. So we can say that delta L is equal to L initial times alpha times delta T. So in this case, that's L initial times 1.2 times 10 to the minus 5 times a minus 10. This is per centigrade degree, and this is centigrade degrees. So the centigrade degrees cancel out. Do I have too many parentheses here? I think I do. All right, so now we say that delta L is equal to, that would be a negative 1.2 times 10 to the minus 4 times L initial. So there we have a result for the difference in the length. So now we can plug that in here. So the fractional change in the length will be a minus 1.2 times 10 to the minus 4 L sub naught divided by L sub naught. Of course, here you can see the L sub naughts cancel and the fractional change in the length relative to the original length is going to be minus 1.2 times 10 to the minus 4. And there you have it, the fractional change in the length and the relationship between final length and initial length with this number right here. And that is how it's done, and we're all set up for part two on the next video.